Giant Thanks This Morning's Coffee With is with Joe Elliott and Rick Savage. The satellite interview is furnished by NCM Fathom Events and AEG Live. Here's Marty. Ladies and gentlemen, rock legends in the house. Joe Elliott, Rick Savage joining us from Dublin. Good evening, gentlemen. How are you? Good evening. Hello. Nice to be here. It's great to have you on the show. I think this concept that you guys are doing, two concerts where you did hysteria, and now we've made it into a theater presentation is brilliant. I remember the first time I saw a theater concert, it would have been The Grateful Dead from Radio City Music Hall, and I thought, what, a, what an idea. I can just go to the theater, watch a concert. And then that kind of disappeared, and now it's starting to come back. When you were approached to do this, how quickly did you say yes? Pretty quickly. Um, I'd say about three seconds. Yeah. You know, it was, as you mentioned, it was filmed over two nights, but we actually, uh, we were there for 11 nights. We, sh we played 11 shows. Um, we, we really got, um, we really got settled in. You know, we was one journey in, three weeks in the same bed, uh, 11 gigs, and a perfect opportunity for us to put all that extra energy that you get through not having to travel into into turning this into a, a major movie event if you like um we filmed we filmed the fourth and the fifth shows and uh, it was pieced together mostly it's the fifth show i believe and uh, and and with a 28 camera shoot a great director and an opportunity to make it more than just a blu-ray dvd release but to actually give everybody the best seat in the house, as you as it were. So you know, go to a cinema and watch this thing on an enormous screen with enormous sound. It's just something that we just couldn't say no to. Did you guys have any say in the final editing, or did you just do the shows, and then AEG came to you and said, "Here's the finished product." Were you how, how, were you, how, how much were you involved in the final product itself? Well, the, the, the director and, and the guys, they, they, they obviously kept us in the loop. They would be sending us just snippets, just to sh show us where they were going and if there's anything we didn't like. So pretty much the whole process we were, we were kept involved with. I mean, we are the type of people that go, you know what, you're, this, is, this is what you're meant to do. So, you know, we, we do have a, a lot of trust in people that, that we do have working with us. But at the same time, there was a courtesy there that, that we were just basically checking in on, on how it was going. So it was, it was pretty much, you know, a two-way two thing all, all the way. I think it's really neat that you're revisiting Hysteria. For those of us, you know, who have the original, it's a great chance, you know, to hear it again. But there's a whole new audience that will go, wow, Def Leppard, who are these guys? And I think that is what makes music last. Talk about that. Uh, yeah, it's, that's, a, that's a good mm -hmm. point. You know, uh, music's changed. The industry has, has basically imploded and it doesn't know what it's doing. Um, so consequently, we're very fortunate to be outside looking in at this mess really and we just take care of our, ourselves now and and to be able to revisit this album that's 25 years old put it in front of a mixture of fans that have been there from day one and if they have they're bringing their kids along and and some of those kids are actually coming along willingly believe it or not you know um it's it's really the only way to go i think because as i said with the industry not knowing what it's doing y you have to take your own career into your own hands and, and decide where you want to go and given the opportunity to do a residency which is becoming kind of cool now uh, it's not really the territory of Elvis or Wayne Newton anymore in Vegas it's us it's Motley Crue it's Guns N' Roses and Cheap Trick and Elton John Rod Stewart people iconic artists really that are obviously tied to a, an incredibly successful past as we are to a point um, and to bring that past into the present, if you like, uh, in, a, in a whole new package. We've never played in 35 years an entire album from start to finish in sequence. So that in itself was an event for us. But to expand on that and to do it 11 nights and in cinemas now and then on DVD later on next month, it's just an amazing, it's an amazing part of our journey that, you know, we never really thought it would get this far. But even at this stage of our career, it's probably the biggest and best thing we've ever done. 
So that in itself is so exciting for us. Mm -hmm. Guys, our satellite time has run short, which is unfortunate, but it's been great having you on the show. Great visiting with you now in 2013. Thanks for all of the tremendous entertainment and all the hard work you've given uh, the Death Leopard fans. You guys are pros and you deserve all the praise you get. Thank That's you very, very much. Very kind. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll see you, man. Bye bye. In theaters, this is going to be wild. October 2nd, October 8th, 8 o'clock. Save you a trip out to Vegas and go to the Hard Rock. Hey, Steve, what's going to be more fun, driving down the street or going to Vegas? You, you took too long to think about that one. Driving down the street always wins, doesn't it? We're taking a break. Coming right back.